Yes, OpenAI is planning a data center that would require enough power for all of India, that's 1.5 billion people, as well as twice the carbon footprint as ExxonMobil, somehow. We'll talk about it. Yes, an OpenAI internal memo was leaked, and it turns out to be true. Although the location is unknown, it's most likely Texas, where they've already been building a massive data center. That is Abilene, Texas. But I did want to talk about what that power use really means, as well as the question of water usage, because we hear that a single token can use a gallon of water, right? Where does that water go? Is it renewable? Turns out not always. Also, it's very hard to quantify precisely. Now, a lot of people do use water for AI data centers in a way that is not renewable because they use evaporative cooling and that just goes off into the air. Some have closed loop systems where the cool water will be used to cool down machinery and then it will then be recycled so that it's a continuous system, the water is not gone. What is a problem is when they divert water from people and then end up using it for the data centers and people need water, much like the issues with power. Now, having a data center in Texas sounds like a nightmare because that is a place where people, you know, need water. There's also issues with the power grid because they pull power away from other nearby cities, assuming they haven't made their own electrical plants, which a lot of places are trying to do, buying up old abandoned nuclear plants and getting them up and running to give power for AI. That is aside the point. The carbon footprint is pretty disturbing. Yes, if you know you care about the planet you live in, former Google CEO says climate goals are not meetable, so we might as well drop the climate conservation and just let AI companies do what they want. Maybe they'll solve global warming. I'm so tired. So a lot of questions you might ask about this is why is it using quite so much power to begin with? And the truth is, it's not just for your chatbot. Although I have affection for my homebrew and chatbots in general, that's not where this is going to. It's going to customer service, for example. It's going to Coca-Cola, making a terrible Christmas ad. Most of that is going to be using AI in industry. So example would be Google. When you search stuff on there, that is going to be a big use of AI, not your chatbot. So when people say that tokens don't actually use that much power, I mean, you can run them on your own computer. I do. That is not what they're mentioning. This is the product that nobody wants, that it's currently driving two thirds of our economic growth that supplies less than 8% of actual GDP. So my big prediction is that this entire industry is doomed. It will not go away, but AI data centers currently cannot actually produce as much profit as they need to to run. Not to mention those data centers need to replace their equipment roughly every three years, and that is very expensive. So yeah, AI as we currently know it is doomed, and that's okay, we will survive. Assuming the government doesn't bail it out for some reason. You know, I actually do want to reiterate this. I really enjoy technology. I want to see conscious robots, but I'm going to be realistic about where we're going right now, and that's not it. We're going for another recession. Follow for more.